this is Nate Riggs with NateRiggs.com and I am in Chicago getting ready for the BMA Engage Conference tomorrow. You're going to see a lot of content coming out uh, this week. Staying in a little place called Hotel 71, pretty cool hotel, you know, fairly simple for Chicago, not like the Hyatt or anything, but comfortable nonetheless, and the conference is at the Swiss Hotel. So Mike Brown, my buddy um, who runs the Brain Group, Brain Zooming Group, invited me to come to this conference, uh, and as we're talking, I'm thinking, okay, this is a great opportunity for me to uh, actually do something that I've been meaning to do for the last year, and that's create uh, a mobile media studio that fits in a backpack. Um, I need to be very, very mobile, but yet I want to be able to produce good quality media, whether it's video, audio, pictures, so on and so forth. So coming to this conference was a really good excuse for me to finally get that together. Uh, put out a couple tweets on this, and I've had a couple of you respond back to with some curiosity as to to what's in my backpack. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. Um, and right now, just so you know, I'm shooting this on a flip uh, digital because I want to be able to show you the ZI8, which I really, really love. But we'll just kind of start with some of the miscellaneous stuff. You know, typical business cards, got some Excedrin, chapstick, things you might need on the road, pens, highlighters for for taking notes and whatnot. Pretty standard stuff. This little bad boy here I picked up a few weeks ago, it is a Verizon wireless VZ access card uh, that basically allows me to broadcast uh, a Wi-Fi signal and allow up to five users to get on. I think I'm paying somewhere in the area of $69.99 a month. Totally worth it. Really, really great product. Um, I use it at home. I use it on the road. It's, it's just nice to have the internet with you anywhere you go. Uh, power cord for that. Kind of clunky, but, but does the trick. Fits in the backpack. Um, just your standard flash drive. I think I actually picked this up free at a TMCA conference. Right now I'm shooting with a Kodak 10.3 uh, megapixel camera. I don't know the exact model, but I'll put it in the notes. Uh, the MX1603. To be honest, Kodak, I'm a huge fan, but this is not the best purchase I've ever made in terms of a camera. Um, it's 10.3 megapixel, but the quality of the photos just isn't what I want it to be. The zoom's okay. Um, using a, uh, this is just a spare 2 gigabyte micro SD card. Um, so Kodak, if you want to send me something better, I'd love to review it for you because I'm a big fan, just not of this specific product. Um, getting in over here, I always bring an extra uh, cable to hook up my laptop. If the hotel has like a, a, a LCD TV, I can use it as a monitor and, and have a little more desktop space. And just a little tripod I picked up from Radio Shack uh, that fits both on the flip and the Kodak HD, uh, which is pretty cool. It was like six ninety nine. Um, this is something I just got in the mail today. This is my Kodak remote that actually matches with the uh, Kodak Zi eight HD, and this is brilliant because it saves me a lot of editing time from having to edit myself reaching around the camera to turn it off or on. Now I can just turn it on with remote, record, play, do whatever I want. This you'll see a video of later. This is the coolest thing I've ever I think I've bought in a long time. What you're looking at here is a 45 degree wide angle lens from Digital Concepts. And this actually fits onto the ZI8 via magnet. You'll notice this little silver ring right here. And that is a magnetic uh, ring that, that actually adheres on. I'll just show you how this sticks on. It's pretty cool. You literally just pop this bad boy on and now you've got a wide angle high definition camera. Love it to death. Uh, total product I think was 29 bucks or something like that, uh, but it's a it's it's been really really great shooting with it. I'm actually using an old Oakley case to put the ZI8 in because I want to be able to keep it in my backpack. Um, let's see, I've got my little blogger black book. This was the the uh, playbook that got me on uh, on ProBlogger.net. Uh, where I, I keep a lot of variety of notes in terms of people I'm interviewing, things like that, some personal stuff. And then I've got my audio section here, and this is something that is absolutely essential. Um, what you're looking at here, this is a Radio Shack brand dynamic condenser mic. Um, really only good if you've got two people on one side of the table, uh, but it does have a long cord, and it's got this nice little stand that comes with it, so it works pretty well. Um, this is a Sony stereo mic that I picked up last week uh, that it records really, really good, clean audio, plugs right into the ZI8, uh, also has this little extender cable with it in case you want to use it as like a lav mic or something. I don't know why you would want to clip that to, to anybody, uh, but it does work pretty well. This is primarily the mic I use, and this is an Olympus brand. I'll see if I can take this off so you can actually see, but this is an Olympus brand um, noise filtering condenser mic that plugs right in and it does have a swivel on it 
so it's directional. You can point this thing anywhere you want it to go and it picks up really good audio. And then there's some different clips and whatnot that come with that. These are essential if you're going to be recording good audio, little uh, wind windscreens or whatever to kind of keep the popping and clipping out of it. Uh, and then uh, a standard lav mic that I picked up from Radio Shack for like 10 bucks does the trick. Uh, if you're doing an interview with somebody in a noisy room, the lav mic is definitely the way to go. Um, I picked up this bag, I believe, from Target for like 6 bucks, And it's just a nice little padded bag that I carry all my audio cables in. Uh, fits very, very nicely into the backpack. This is a product I actually learned about maybe a year ago off of Chris Brogan's blog, uh, made by Cocoon, and it is a gridded product. And what these are is like, it's a, literally a sheet that has a bunch of elastic straps stretched across it, and you can literally store all your cables neat and clean uh, with no problems. I was so impressed when I saw it on Chris blogs, I actually picked one up, and I love it to death. I've got a couple extra remotes in here, some USB extenders, a couple card readers, um, uh, USB uh, ports right here, I think this is a seven port hub. Um, I have my card reader that's USB. So just a variety of things, monitor cables, uh, extra cable to uh, plug in and sync up my iPhone. Um, so just a variety of different things here. It's always good to be prepared. And then uh, another thing I picked up pretty inexpensively from, you can get these at any Walmart or any uh, Target. Uh, but these are, this is just a, a basic tripod. They do make better ones that have levelers and, and you know, s uh, things that are, are smooth and when you rotate it and whatnot, but they are a little bit heavier. This fits really, really nicely uh, either in the suitcase or in the bag, depending on where I want to put it. Um, I'm kind of a nut about having clean lenses and uh, a clean monitor screen. So this is actually screen cleaner that comes in this neat little case. And uh, as I fumble that, the towel actually fits into the bottom of this stuff. Uh, and there's a nice little hole in the bottom so it can air out. But that's, that's an essential thing. Obviously my iPhone with, with the headphones and the cable and the charger, that's kind of essential. And the MacBook Pro, will complete with all the stickers. Um, notice representing the C-Bus. Got to love that. Ohio Pod Camp. Um, chargers with that. This is something I picked up... Uh, Tell you the truth, I can't remember where I got them, but you can find it all over the place. Why I like this is it gives me, you know, I can plug it in any outlet. It gives me three outlets, but then also USB chargers in case I want to plug in the iPhone or anything else. Makes it very, very easy. Um, and then finally, this is the greatest backpack I've ever had. Made by Swiss. I'm sure you've probably seen these all over the place. Uh, $79.99. I picked mine up from Best Buy, and this thing is the best backpack I've ever had. It stands upright. It's got plenty of storage compartments. Everything's padded. Um, just really can't sing the praises of this backpack enough. It's made traveling very, very easy. Uh, so I'm a big fan of this. They do make one. This is for the 15-inch laptop. They do make one for a 17-inch laptop. Um, I went ahead and just got the smaller one because I wanted to stay as compact as possible. Uh, and then finally, the Kodak ZI8, which I absolutely love. This thing shoots in a variety of high definition. Um, it does come with its own software that you can actually plug into the computer. It'll sync up. It'll give you Kodak software. I really don't use that. I just dump the video onto a regular file and transfer it over the card because I'm going to end up editing an iMovie or Final Cut uh, Express. Uh, but this thing, especially with the uh, wide-angle lens, is just a very, very powerful little camera. It takes great stills. A um, lot you can do with this thing. I've, I've loved every minute of having it. So there you have it. That is my mobile production studio. Uh, this is the equipment I'm going to be using to cover BMA Engage. I'm uh, going to be talking with Chris Brogan, uh, hopefully a few other folks. Uh, David Meerman Scott's here. Uh, so it should be a great event. Thanks to Mike Brown for kind of setting up the team. There's going to be about, I think, 14 of us who are going to be dividing and conquering in terms of covering this event. So stay tuned for the next few days. You're going to see some great interviews, some great content, and hopefully uh, about six, 700 business marketers uh, learning and having a good time together. Again, I'm Nate Riggs. This is NateRiggs.com, and this is my mobile media studio in a backpack.